Will the Ukrainian armed forces be able to enter Crimea as easily as they broke through to Kursk Oblast? This is the question that residents of the peninsula began to ask themselves after the successful offensive of Ukrainian troops, which began on August the 6th. This was announced on the Telegram channel Atesh. The partisan movement noted that the victories of the Ukrainian armed forces made the Russians in Crimea lose heart. No one expected such advancement in the Kursk region. Now the occupiers are trying to predict where exactly Ukraine will strike if it decides to attack Crimea, but not everyone is doing this. Officials are taking their families and moving back to Russia. The partisan agent emphasized, adding that Russians are afraid of Ukrainian revenge. Recall Ukrainian defense forces used the Ukrainian long-range Kalyantsia drone missile against a military target in the territory of the Crimean Peninsula temporarily occupied by Russia for the first time in August this year. President Volodymyr Zelensky reported that the Ukrainian army had attacked the Russian army for the first time on the 24th of August with a new weapon, the Palyantsia drone missile. Recently, Ukraine has launched a major attack on a Russian naval base in occupied Crimea. The Ukrainian armed forces struck targets near the Kirsch Bridge with precision-guided missiles. A Russian Mangust patrol boat was destroyed in the attack, a Ukrainian military source has told Sky News. The source confirmed Western-supplied weapons were used and said they proved extremely effective against this Russian military target despite high concentrations of Russian air defense systems. Nikolai Lukashenko, Crimea's Russian-installed transportation chief, said on Telegram that Ukraine's attack damaged two transport ferries. The Kirsch Bridge links Russia and Crimea over the Kirsch Strait and is regularly used by Moscow as a logistics hub to resupply its forces. It was built in 2018 after Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea four years earlier. Since August 6, Ukrainian soldiers have occupied dozens of Russian villages on more than 1,000 square kilometers and are digging in to repel an imminent Russian counteroffensive. Pokrovsk, the administrative center of a heavily industrialist agglomeration with a pre-war population of almost 400,000, is likely to be taken over by advancing Russian troops soon. They are less than 10 kilometers east of it, and keep inching in every minute after months of heavy bombardment and meat marches, frontal attacks on Ukrainian positions that have cost Russian generals tens of thousands of servicemen. The depopulated town and several highways and railways it straddles have served as a crucial logistical hub for the Ukrainian military, and their takeover may burst the front line open and become a propaganda triumph for the Kremlin. Along eastern Ukraine's sprawling front line, however, the Russian army has been notching up territorial gains, cutting deeper towards the city of Pokrovsk in Donetsk province, a crucial supply and reinforcement hub for Ukraine's frontline troops, and claiming the capture of a nearby village, according to France 24. Before the attack on Kursk, the Russians were advancing in Donbass on seven fronts. Now they are stuck in Pokrovsk, their troops are moving from other directions to Kursk, the source of channel said that Moscow's troops have moved to within 10 kilometers of the strategic city, the UK's military intelligence reported on Monday as Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky conceded that the situation on the ground was difficult. While the Kursk offensive did force Russia to redeploy troops from parts of the front line, analysts caution 
those movements did not affect the battle for Pokrovsk. In fact, Russian operations are now solely concentrated in the Pokrovsk region, said Gustav Gressel, a Ukraine war analyst at the European Council on Foreign Relations, adding that Moscow's forces were, kind of freezing other fronts. Before the Kursk offensive, the Russians were advancing on seven fronts in the Donbass, added Husein Aliyev, a Ukraine war expert at the University of Glasgow. And now it's only Pokrovsk, while some troops elsewhere are being redeployed to Kursk. Such maneuvers suggest there has indeed been a Kursk effect in the Donbass. The trouble for Kiev is that the effect is not being felt where it matters most.